Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with another Divi tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to change the menu module responsive breakpoint. So what I mean by that is I'm going to show you how to change the point where it changes from the hamburger menu on the tablet to where it changes to the desktop menu on desktop. Sometimes we want to make that change a little bit wider, a little wider screen, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial. So if you're using the Divi theme builder and you're using the menu module, chances are you've come across a problem where you need to change the, the Divi menu responsive breakpoint. So basically you, you want to change where that spot is where it changes from desktop to tablet. And by default that's at 980 pixels. But if you want to change that, there's not really any setting for that and you know it could be kind of daunting to try to figure out the code. Well I'm going to show you that here in this tutorial. It's actually a pretty quick snippet so don't worry it's not going to take very long at all. So we're just going to change the responsive breakpoint of that menu and essentially we're just you know we want to show it uh, we want to show the hamburger menu the mobile menu on a larger screen and it's it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you here in my demo I have my uh, menu already in here and we're going to copy the snippet that's found in our blog post. So if you're watching this video on YouTube you'll want to click the link in the description and go over to the blog and that's where we have all of, of the tutorials that go along with every one of our videos. So let's go over there and we're going to copy this snippet so just go ahead and copy it and then jump back over to wherever your live website is and I want to point a couple things out. Um, let's go in here to you know and for for testing demo purposes I'm going to use the page settings so go into the page settings and the advanced tab custom CSS and I'm going to uh, be pasting that snippet right there. Okay so you're not really going to see anything yet but I do want to point something out. Um, and by the way, you should be putting this in your theme options or your child theme, not really on the page. I'm just showing you on the page because we want to see it live and uh, this is the quickest way to do that. So you'll see in here there's a number. It says max width and then 1149. I just made that number up. You could use any number that's bigger than, than the default 980. Okay. So I'm going to show you real quick how to determine that number. Um, you're going to want to probably change that number. So to do that, you know, don't be too afraid. You just go in here and, and change that number. Maybe you want to make it 1200 or 1400 or something like that. Um, so you just want to change that number and you'll be fine. All right, let's save that and take a look at our new responsive breakpoint. And if you're wondering how to find that number for the pixel value, Go to your website where you have your menu and right click with your mouse and I'm gonna I'm in Chrome so I'm gonna go down here and look for inspect so click inspect and I have my um, code drop out here on the right side look for this icon here it should look like uh, maybe a tablet and a phone something like that in fact I think all the browsers have something very similar and when you turn that on you're gonna get uh, a couple of things here at the top. So first of all you'll notice that my website is now inside this little window here that we can drag around and that's pretty cool. But you'll also notice there's some numbers here and this number here at the beginning is the number we're, we're looking for, the width. So remember we put in a number that was 1149 px. So by default you know if we were around 980 we would see this hamburger menu go away when we make it wider here like that. So we'd be looking at oh, over 1048, so this would be the normal menu. But remember, we've made it set to, to 1149. So let's go to that number and we'll see the change. So we're still seeing the hamburger menu. Oh, there it switched. So we went to 1156 and it switched over, all right? So let's go back, oh, right below 1150. In fact, we could even get fine tuning with it here and go in here. Um, kind of overkill I know but see I'm at 1149 as soon as I switch to 1150 it changes so that's how you're going to determine that and you're going to know like if your menu is getting crammed up here you're going to know to switch it and by the way I have a couple other similar or I should say related tutorials on that 
Uh, the previous video here I released, it was on, you know, how to show a hamburger menu on desktop and vice versa. All right. So we basically showed you how to swap, you know, well, not, not necessarily swap, but if you wanted to show a hamburger menu on your desktop, you could do that. In fact, I showed you how to do it side by side. So with a regular one and then the hamburger menu. I also showed you how to display a normal menu on mobile. So you might want to check that one out. You know, that's kind of a similar tutorial. Also keep an eye out for the next video that's going to be released after this one. Um, it's going to be next in line. It's called how to stop the Divi menu overlap. And that's going to, that's going to be similar to what we're dealing with here. It's a little different. There's a couple other solutions we can try. One of those solutions will be changing our breakpoint. All right. So that's going to be in the next video. So be sure to look for that one. All right. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, be sure to share that. Be sure you're ever in our Facebook group, the Divi teacher. And of course, be sure you're subscribed here because I have a whole bunch of more videos coming and there's even more to come in my little unofficial um, Divi menu series here. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.